Good morning, folks. We'll watch something pretty here during an opening message addressing the confusion on yesterday's pinned comment. The observers support the Freedom Convoy, the one forming in the United States, and Spotify for keeping Joe Rogan. There are far too many observers at this stage. You should see my inbox. So if you are offended, I assure you, I haven't camouflaged the exits. We're at spaceweathernews.com where you've already seen the most dynamic item of note in space weather over the last day. Strong filament release off the northwestern departing limb. Nice of that one to wait until after the active region was facing Earth. The CME will miss. We also had a reverberation of the geomagnetic storm at low levels for a few hours yesterday. This is like when a major league player drops a pop fly like, come on buddy, what was that? Nothing doing in the solar wind. The largest quake of the last day was thankfully well offshore, out in the middle of the southern Indian Ocean. So, let's safely go next to eye candy where the previous image of NGC 1705 was only able to see the stars. Now, they can spot the infrared clouds produced by a recent starburst at the irregular dwarf galaxy. They were hiding in plain sight, like all the dust and plasma they still can't see. And yet another challenge for the dark matter models. As true as it ever was, they can do math on paper and run simulations till they're blue in the face, but it won't help them match observational reality while they're using magic dark matter. Up next, a high detail study on second place in the solar climate forcing speed race. We have gone over the instantaneous forcing through the global electric circuit, but this is the equatorward traveling wave from the subauroral zone. By the way, they really need to make this animation for Earth so I can stop using Jupiter's. Anyway, time frame is two to three hours for the subauroral excitement to propagate to the equatorial region and affect the equatorial electrojet, at which point the global electric circuit and all the L shells have been touched. Last but not least, the finding of animals where they don't belong continues. We have seen this with high-level bird, insect, mammal, and marine creature studies, now evident and obvious enough to catch the eye of high school students not even looking for them. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.